When copying entities from one drawing to another, the following options are available to paste the selection in the target drawing. Paste the entities using a default base point, pasting with a user-defined base point, paste to the original coordinates, and paste as a block. In this movie, you will learn how it works. I first select the entities to be copied. Then I use the Ctrl plus C keyboard shortcut to copy the selection to the clipboard. The easiest way to switch to the target drawing is the Ctrl plus Tab keyboard shortcut. Press Ctrl plus V. The selection moves dynamically in the target drawing. Notice that the base point is the lower left corner of the so-called bounding box of the selection, which is the smallest rectangle that fits around the selected entities. Click to paste the selection. If the value of the insertion unit system variable is different in the source and the target drawing, the selection is scaled accordingly. For instance, if the insertion units in the source drawing is centimeter and millimeter in the target drawing, a scale factor of 10 is applied. After selecting the entities to be copied, I now choose Copy with Base Point in the Edit menu. I am prompted to specify the Base Point. Press Ctrl plus Tab to switch to the target drawing and Ctrl plus V to paste. You see the selection is now attached to the cursor by the Base Point I have specified. Let's copy all walls of this family house ground floor plan as a block to the other drawing. The entities I want to copy sit on two different layers, S facing brick and S masonry. I will use Quick Select to compose a selection set. Click the Quick Select button in the properties bar, then select the S facing brick layer and click the Add to New Selection Set button. Then select the S Masonry layer and click the Add to Current Selection Set button. All entities on both layers are selected now. All I need to do now is press Ctrl plus C, switch to the other drawing and choose Paste as block in the Edit menu or press Ctrl plus Shift plus V and specify the insertion point. The name for the block is assigned by the system. To rename the block, open the Drawing Explorer Blocks dialog box, select the block, then right click and choose Rename. In GIS Savia mapping applications, it is often important to preserve the original coordinates 
of the copied entities. Although this sounds complicated, it's quite simple, as I will show you. Select the entities, press Ctrl plus C, switch to the target drawing and press Ctrl plus V. Instead of specifying an insertion point, just press Enter. That's all. To prove this is correct, I will now copy the adjacent area of the previous selection. As you can see, an exact match. However, some entities might be duplicated because they are copied twice. This problem is solved by the overkill command. For more information about the overkill command options, see the BricksCAD command reference. Thank you for watching this tutorial movie. Download the free trial version of BricksCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.